Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising. Monthly Tarot reading, December 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the Tarot cards. And we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your month Libra is going to be the Eight of Swords, followed by the next one here which stands as a challenge uh, that you will have to overcome here, that is going to be the World card. Then the third one stands as the intentions or how you should tackle with the things that you will have to face through the month of December, that will be the Devil. Followed by the fourth card here, which represents the lesson that you will have to learn throughout the month that is going to be the hangman. And the last one, uh, which stands for the energies that are to support you throughout the month, we do have the fall card. All right. Uh, so a bit of a, a difficult month, but uh, not without uh, any benefits at the end. So the first one, which is the Eight of Swords as a topic, is going to be catalyzed uh, in your case with the Page of um, Wands. So this month, um, how do you say it? Uh, you will have to, well, I would say oblige, not exactly oblige. Well, th that's the thing. So uh, with the month, you will, you will face a, a certain situation that you will have to basically um, oblige with other people. Uh, it's kind of like going on with uh, with what they are telling you to, to do. Or the very least, well, that, basically that you are going to face demanding type of personalities throughout the month. Now, the, the problem for you is going to be that you uh, will not going to, you are not going to want to do what people are telling you. It's kind of like a uh, um, insubordination that you are going to have or that will be the topic at your behalf throughout the months. And this insubordination are going to cause a, a significant disruption in communications in between you and your girlfriend or a boyfriend, for example, in between you and your colleagues and etc, etc. So in other words, you're going to feel very displeased having to do what you have been told to do, all right? But uh, uh, that is on the negative side of the month. On the plus side, however, those two cards are pointing that you are going to become more and more aware of uh, how strong you are on your own accord. So in other words, uh, you know, you are going to become more and more aware uh, about the liabilities uh, that are within your environment as people and as the situations as well. And it is very likely as well with those two cards that uh, it's like you get burst, fr uh, you are bursting out from a, a cocoon that's um, 
you know someone or something is holding you into giving you straight away on an example you know you are always following you know what your parents are telling you to do and this time around in the month of december um you finally you know stop following what your parents are telling you to do and you start doing what you uh, find an amusement and an exhilaration in doing of course that will cause a disruption in the communication in as well um, in the relationship in between you and your family but it's kind of like you know that is a price that one has to pay but the very least guys uh, this uh, like I said this month it is a, the month where you are going to become much more singular it's kind of like depending more to yourself rather than depending on other people or other things as well not to mention that um it seems that also the month is very good about you entering new social circles, circles of societies and attracting new friends uh, at your behalf as well. So the challenging card here is going to be the world and it's accompanied here with the five of uh, wands. So that is a, about taking on a different approach uh, with those two cards uh, toward a... Um, you know, on an important endeavor into your life uh, that you want to um, kind of sort out or settle throughout the months of uh, December. We do have um, a, a passive a, a neutrals in this particular in this particular case. And um, what those two cards are pointing is that there are going to be certain turnarounds, uh, some surprising events that are going to take place, right? Um, uh, in, in generally, a circumstances that will allow you to take on a, a different approach toward the finalization of one's, um, uh, maybe, for example, divorce or a certain project or uh, in generally a certain endeavor that you want to do so um, throughout the month. And... Uh, it will be challenging for you to take on the initiative here and to just take on the momentum of those um, surprising events and surprising circumstances. Uh, they're going to uh, create a lot of dynamic uh, into your environment as well. And it looks like that um, once you be able to establish this settlement or reach that finalization, let's say, uh, then a, um, a new perspective does emerge soon. So challenging wise is going to be for you to um, make something significant. I don't know how to say it. Well, the world is always about a peak of experience experience um, and uh, finalizing a thing that took a long time to develop all right um, a, a lifetime goal maybe as well so that is going to be a challenging thing once again it is because you have to approach it from a a little bit of a, a different angle the next card here stands as the intentions what you should do throughout the month and that is going to be the devil accompanied here with the aeon which is uh, the judgment in the traditional deck, we do have a passive neutrals in, the, in this particular case. And first, uh, first thing is do not let go of, okay? That uh, finalization we talked about in the, um, how do I say it? Um, in the challenges. Another thing is that you should not let go of, you know, your personal strengths as well. In other words, do not allow people to convince you that you cannot do it by yourself. You know, now it's it's a typical example for it. It is when, you know, two people separate and one says to the other, you are nothing without me. We are seeing this into the movies, all right, into the, you know, as well, reading about it into the novels. So something like this do not allow people to tell you that you are very strong on your own accord when you decide to catch up the momentum. Additionally, with those two cards here, uh, it seems that, uh, how can I say it, you're going to have um, influence uh, with the devil and the Aeon as a neutral card. Uh, it points to an influence where one can stow and shape things the way they want to be shaped. And it's understandable why this is going to cause certain, you know, uh, disruptions into relationships and communications. No one likes 
to have someone goes against their will and against their wishes. But it looks like that this time around here, uh, Libra, it will fall to what you want and what you wish. Because the devil is all about feeding up or kind of like satisfying the, the hunger of one's soul, the, the, the primal instincts, if you will. And you have to follow your primal instincts. So if your instinct, it is to be with someone, you just be with this person, uh, despite what everybody is telling you, all right? If your instinct is to leave your job, then leave your job if it is, um, you know, despite what everybody is telling you against it, okay? And with the Aeon in the neutral position, that points to significant turnaround into one's faith and into one's, uh, how do I say it, future as well. So in other words, you will be able to dictate the terms of how your future unfolds. Or in other words, you're going to hold the wheel of your both and you have to navigate it appropriately in regards to uh, where those hungers of your soul are calling you toward. The other card here refers to the um, lesson that you are to learn. We do have the hangman and it is accompanied with uh, the... Um, Queen of Cups. So we do have a passive uh, supporters into this position. And it's a big lesson, actually. Uh, it does refer to the challenge, uh, first and foremost. So it's, it is from there where that lesson is going to come around. And it is about a, a different perspective. It is about when something doesn't work the way you are expecting it to work and you feel that, and you see, excuse me, that your um, effort to make a difference in there are um, kind of futile, then it's time for you to wait a bit just to, um, just to see how the circumstances are going to start shaping and folding. So it's about a lesson of patience and it is about lesson of a, uh, adopting a different perspective, a, a different visions upon things. And uh, that will teach you to take challenges um, as a breakthroughs rather than as a setbacks. And also a lesson that you are going to learn is how to nurture the, uh, the feelings uh, that you have and kind of like holding them in front of you and following them, which correlates with the feeding up the hunger of one's souls. So in other words, you are going to learn how to do what you like instead of what the others like. And the last card here, guys, it's about the energies that are to support you. We do have the Fool, which is um, catalyzed by the Prince of Cups, or um, in the traditional deck, that is the Knights of Cups. And those two cards are very... Um, Carefree, if I may express it that way, they are a active neutrals in this particular position. And uh, energy-wise, um, it looks like that you are never gonna end up in a dead end. That that is what the energies are pointing here. And also, you are always gonna find an, an exhilarating things to do, or exhilarating goals to follow, or a new beginnings, if you will, or new things for you to keep up and lift up your spirit throughout the month of uh, uh, December because once again uh, how can I say it um, having certain disruptions in or in the harmony of relationships you know and uh, uh, communications uh, more or less causes one person to become poignant and those energies will not allow you to so because you're gonna find different things you know to keep your mind occupied uh, with those uh, with those two cards uh, things that you're going to find a, a an enthusiasm and amusement into so that being said, Libra, this was your monthly tarot reading for December 2019. Guys, do not take everything personal here. Uh, that, that's important thing, okay? Maybe um, some people were smothering you beneath their toe because they think that they know better than, you, than yourself what is best for you. That's not always the case, all right? But you also have to, how can I place it, do something uh, on your own accord for yourself to satisfy needs and, and callings that are coming in your way and that you are that are not allowing you to feel yourself fulfilled. So yeah, that was your reading. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And we're going to see each other around. Until then.
Bye.